Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstein. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So today I want to talk about a rolly cord. This is an early rolly cord. This was at the local thrift store, marked $40, $39.99. And it wasn't half price. They do a half price sale, but this had just come out on the shelf. And for $40, I thought, okay, I'll pick it up and I'd love to shoot a roll of film through it. And it has a good 75 millimeter 3.5 lens, Tessar. Nope, it's a Triatar. And it was the weirdest thing. When I focused it, it seemed like when I focused it to infinity, the far away stuff wasn't in focus. But when I moved the lens closer, then infinity came into focus. And then when I went even closer yet, I could photograph things close to me, but not as close as not three feet like I'm used to with these cameras, which usually have a three foot minimum focus. So something was up with the focus. And I thought it could be it took a drop. And if you ever get one of these and this lens isn't completely parallel because it took a hit, then you could have a problem. And you could have a problem with focus because both lenses have to be identical. You're looking through one and it's matching the focus of the other one. But then I thought, what if I take this top off? What do I take the hood off? Let me pull this out so you can actually see the camera outside of the case. It came with the case. But if you... Uh, there's just four screws on these. And I've taken other ones off before to clean the mirror and the ground glass. So like, what if I take off those four screws? And the way I work is I put a dish towel down on my kitchen table. And then I put a cereal bowl on the table. And then I work over the cereal bowl. Everything that drops, if it drops, it goes into the bowl, hopefully. If it doesn't, it lands on the towel and that stops it from bouncing. These screws are really, really tiny in that upper area. But they're just ordinary straight flat slotted screws and with a little jeweler's screwdriver they come right out and then this whole thing lifts right out and i saw there's a mirror in there and it didn't look like the mirror was in the correct position so i took it out cleaned it and then put it back in the position it belongs and now the focus works fine i just loaded a roll of film and We'll see what it does. I'm sure it's going to be quality images because Rolleiflex, Rollicord, they never made a camera that wasn't good and didn't have sharp lenses. This is probably equivalent to a Tessar as far as it's sharp in the middle, maybe a little bit soft on the edges, but for portraits, it's actually good for that. And it's an old uncoated lens, so that should be interesting and may have more of a vintage look than a camera that would be fully coated later model Rolleiflex, Rolly cord. It looks like it's missing a piece of leather from the top. Again, it's not perfect. It's the kind of thing where I thought, you know, a friend of mine wants to get into a TLR. This may be a good one for her, but at this point, let's just test it out. And I noticed when I got it, though, it wasn't focusing right. And I thought, maybe I should take it in for a repair. I know a guy here in town who is a Rolleiflex trained repair person. But then I'm like, well, what can I do? And then I took it apart, and it's got this boss little case. And for $40, I want to shoot some film in that and see what the difference is between the Rolleiflex that I have that's more modern and just see if it's got a different look to it. I did that Longmont Lake project last year with a uh, Rolleiflex 3.5F, but that's much more modern of a camera. I'd be curious to see how this one compares, but the Rolly Cord, the Rolleiflex, all of those cameras are wonderful cameras. And if you get one that has a little bit of an issue, maybe you can troubleshoot and figure out what it is. A lot of cameras before the modern computer digital age even before light meters didn't have wires and circuit boards inside. 
they had mirrors and ground glasses and they had springs and very, very basic design. So you still have to be careful. It'd be really difficult to take apart a Leica, but the Rollerflex, just to take off the top, clean it, check that mirror and see that it wasn't positioned correctly, that made me think, well, that would make it not be in focus, right? Because the mirror's gotta be projecting the image onto the ground glass. And if it's off by a little bit, that could cause a problem. And once I got it back in, now we're good to go. All right, a safe photography talk. In the future, maybe I'll do a follow-up once that film is developed. Hey, if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. Maybe tell some friends about the show. And if you can support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I appreciate you. I get notices in the email about you guys supporting me, new supporters. I always appreciate you guys. And I don't know if I thank you enough, but I really do care and you make it possible to just say, I want to never stop making these. I love that I have a Saturday morning audience. I'm glad that you're a part of it. All right. We'll talk next week. As always, here's the good light.